So this is another oak, but this isn't one of our native oaks. This is a, an introduced species called turkey oak. And on first examination, it's got the look of an oak tree about it, but look carefully at these leaves. If we pull off one of the leaves uh, and compare it to uh, Quercus rober, English oak, it's got an oak pattern to it, but the turkey oak here is a slightly different shape and profile. It's as if the leaf has been drawn and stretched and then nipped into a series of tight wastes. And if you look at the leaf carefully, the texture is actually quite different. It's much more waxy and leathery and grainy than the um, native oak, the English oak leaf, which has a sort of flat texture to it. Okay, so turkey oak uh, shares part of its name with our native oaks, but in terms of its timber characteristics and its growth characteristics, it's quite different. It's much faster growing than our native oaks, um, but that's about where the positive qualities stop, I'm afraid. Uh, timber quality, relatively poor. The timber st uh, tends to saw badly and doesn't stay stable and straight when it's been sawn. It tends to spring and split uh, and check, which is where the ends open up when it's been sawn. So timber qualities are quite poor and most of the turkey oak grown in the UK will probably only end up as firewood. In terms of positives, as I've already mentioned, it's got fast growth, tends to have very good autumn colour um, and it tends to be a useful, quick uh, way of covering landscape or filling landscape with tree with trees but just be cautious about turkey oak as a long-term timber species it won't do the same job in terms of the timber it produces as our native oaks